Good morning and grace and peace to you. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are already rejoicing and we are glad in it. This is fire in the morning. We are thanking God for allowing us to see another day, for bringing us to Tuesday. Hallelujah. It feels fun to even say a Tuesday, but however, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, well, we're still on the road. We're making our way home. And so I, I apologize for y'all who missed us on yesterday. Amen. We were trying to catch up on some rest. Praise God. But we thank God for an awesome weekend. Hallelujah. In the presence of the Lord. And we are readying ourselves to go forth in this week. And to go forth in this day. And so I had a thought and had a meditation while we were riding down the highway and just was thinking about something that says to be able to do what he has called you to do. You can't hear the word and then try to figure out what you're going to do with the word. You got to take that word when you hear it and those instructions come. Amen. In the moment that you hear those instructions and the timing that God says to do what he says to do, you got to do it right then and there. So, even for now, even for today, hallelujah, the faith that it takes for you to go forth and do what God has called you to do, you got to be able to step out into that thing. You don't have any time for hesitation. You don't have any time for people to try to, you know, for you to try to get any validation from anybody else. You don't have time to try to figure out if people are going to accept what God is saying to you. You don't have time to try to figure out if people are going to agree or disagree. Why? Because now faith, hallelujah, is the substance of things hoped for. Right now, you got to get up from where you are. Well, I know it's 6 o'clock in the morning. You probably can't get up and go do it right now. But when I'm saying get up from where you are, I mean just not even naturally as well, but figuratively. You got to get up from where you are and begin to do what God has called you to do. You don't have time to sit around and try to speculate about how people are going to receive what God is speaking to you. Somebody's always going to have something to say about what God is saying. Somebody's always going to have an opinion. Somebody's always going to think that, well, maybe you shouldn't have done that right now. Hallelujah. But I'm going to know what are you waiting for? If you're not going to do it now, when are you going to do it? Hallelujah. Amen. If, who are you waiting to show up before you get up and do what God is saying for you to do? Who are you waiting to get on the scene before you do what God has told you to do? You know what I'm saying? Are you waiting for a specific day of the year? You waiting for a birthday to go by or some kind of milestone you, you feel like you need to have first before you can walk out into those things that God is saying? The question today is what are you waiting for? And on the other side of that, why are you waiting? What is it that has you held back? What is it that has had you, amen, that, that's keeping you from doing what God is saying? Hallelujah. And I think that that's a big deal for us because we listen to people. We follow other people's instructions. You know, we get advice from other people. We walk in the opinions of man and the thoughts and the speculations of man, you know, and we do it without hesitation. In a heartbeat, we'll go and ask somebody, so what do you think I should do about this? Or do you think I should do this right now? Do you think that this seems like this is a good time for me to do this or for me to do that? But what did God say? What did God say? What did he tell you to do? And when did he tell you to do it? Hallelujah. And if he's giving you instruction and he's giving you, amen, the open door and the leeway to do it, what are you waiting for? You know, because you're going to have people, like we already said, you're going to have people that are going to disagree with what you're saying and, and disagree with what you're doing. Meanwhile, what are they doing? Meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? They're telling you not to do it. You know, they're telling you that you should just wait. Give it six months. Give it another year. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you know, they're talking you out of what God is saying. Hallelujah. But they turning over, amen, and taking a nap. You got to get up from where you are. You don't have time to waste. You don't have time to lose. And I know that if you sat down and you thought about your life and you thought about the things that you have supposed to have been done up until this point, you can see where you have wasted time. You, you can see where you have wasted opportunities. 
you know, wasted, wasted doors that God had opened and, you know what I'm saying, put before you because you were worried about what other people said. Hallelujah. So today, what are you waiting for? Today, there is an opportunity for you. And, and I was reading even, um, went back to go look because another verse popped in my head. Amen. And I went back to go look at it. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Amen. You go back and you read that. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2, it says that today is the day of salvation. The Lord said, in an acceptable time. Hallelujah. In an acceptable time. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the time for you to get up from where you are, hallelujah, and begin to walk in what God is saying. It's time for you to obey those instructions. It's time for you to put that business plan together. It's time for you to get up and set that ministry in order. It's time for you, amen, to stop procrastinating. Stop making excuses, hallelujah. This is the hour of the, of the favor of God. This is the hour that God is releasing his hand for you to be able to accomplish everything that is in your spirit. And you know what? I'm of the, of, of the persuasion that even the desires of your heart, mo or I'll say most of the desires of our heart, because the scripture tells us that God will give us the desires of our heart. It's not just that he'll give us what we want, but he'll actually put in us what we should want. So that we will begin to pray for those things. Amen. And so I believe that there are some desires that you have in your heart that God himself has put in you. Because if you think about it, some things that you want to do, you of yourself wouldn't want to do it. It comes from God. It comes, amen, from time in his presence. Amen. And a lot of those things are God-designed desires. Hallelujah. God designed desires that he have put on the inside of you to be able to do his will, to accomplish the things that the Lord desires for you to accomplish. Things that he wants you, amen, to finish. The books that he wants you to write. Hallelujah. The people that he wants you to reach out to. Praise God. And so you got to get about your father's business. You got to get about your father's business. Amen. Today is the day of salvation. Today. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not in a month. Not in a year. Today is the day of salvation. You got to move while that fire is burning. You got to move while that desire is in you. Because now if you think about it. Sometimes you get all riled up and you get excited and God will begin to speak to you and you say to yourself, oh my God, I got to go get this done. I know that this is what the Lord has been saying, you know, and then you say, okay, well, I'm going a, I'm to a start working on that next week. I just want to finish getting through this right here. When I get through this, then I'm going to start on that next week. And by the time next week comes, you haven't even sat down to write out what God has said. Hallelujah. You haven't even begun to walk in what he has spoken to you. Because you let that fire go out. You let you let that seal that he put on the inside of you die down. And so you found yourself missing. Hallelujah. That, that moment. You know, if you don't move when the spirit is moving you, you'll miss it. You know, even when you think about you think about the man who was sitting at the gate, beautiful. Well, and and it was two stories about the the, the, the lame man at the gate. And, and this first one story, he's sitting at the gate and he's waiting for somebody to put him in the water when the water is troubled. And then if you miss the troubling of the water, you didn't get your healing, you know. And so you got to get in that water while it's troubled. You got to get, I don't care if you, if you got to roll yourself in there. I don't care if you got to drag your, your, your whole entire self into that troubled water. Get from where you are to the place that God is calling you to because today is the day of salvation. Now faith, hallelujah, today, right now, this moment that you are sitting in, that you are hearing this word, it is the time to get about your father's business. Well, it, it might be too early in the morning to get outside and go do something, but you need to sit down and begin to write this vision that God has given you. Start out 
You know what I'm saying? Putting those things together that he has spoken to you. Go back to those journals where you wrote it down already, but you didn't do anything about it. Refresh your memory. Stir your heart up. Because as you begin to go back and read those things, if you've already written them down, and you go back and you begin to read those things, it begins to stir your heart in those things that you have that, that God has already spoken to you. Then you'll find yourself saying, man, I got to get up from here. I got to do this. I got to get over here. Go get this started. Amen. Set it in your day today. If there are things that you need to accomplish for God, if there are things that you know you need to get going, then what you need to do is you need to start by making the first step of bringing that stuff to pass. There's some things we just, we think God is going to do everything. And we get on our face and we pray, oh God, move on my behalf. God, open the door. God, make way. Let me meet the right people. Let me see the right people. And then we can meet the right people and say nothing. Hallelujah. We can stand before an open door and be too scared to go through it. You cannot allow fear to prevent you from walking through this open door. Not today. Hallelujah. Not today. You're going to take your faith. Today I'm decreeing over you. You hear me? I'm telling you what you're going to do today. You're going to take your faith. And you're going to walk through that open door. And matter of fact, you're going to run through that open door. Because you don't have any more time to waste. This is the time. This is the hour. This is the opportune moment. Hallelujah. This is the time where God has released his favor. This is the time where God, amen, have set you up for what you could have done in a million years on your own. He has put you in the position to be able to accomplish his will. And so you have got to get up from where you are. You got to go and run into the presence of God. You got to run into the will of God. You got to run into this thing that he had put in your heart to do. Never mind the naysayers. Never mind those who are sitting on the sidelines criticizing what you're doing and what you're not doing. You're going to always have critics. You're going to always have people who have something to say. But are you going to allow that to change your mind? Are you going to allow that to steal your zeal? Are you going to allow that what other people say? You know what I'm saying? Whose words are inconsequential. They're not adding to the vision. They're not adding to what God spoke to you. They're not speaking faith in your life. They're talking against what God said. You're going to take what they said and you're going to stop doing what God said do. You're going to ignore the voice of God and listen to what a man or a woman or a boy or a child or somebody that you don't, you know, whose, whose words don't have that much credence. You know what I'm saying? You're going to listen to that and let that stop you from doing what God said to? Absolutely not. What are you waiting for? Today is the day of salvation. Today, right now. The, and the scripture says, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. As in the day of provocation, don't you harden your heart? Don't you talk yourself out of it? Hallelujah. Don't you don't you deny that God is speaking to you? Don't you deny, amen, that there is a desire to do what God has called you to do? You may not even see yourself. You may have never seen yourself doing some of the things that are in your heart to do. But you need to start running in that direction. You need to start, amen, start building whatever it is that God has put in your spirit for you to do. Because now faith, right now, the faith that you need, right now, God has already released it. He's already given that to you. Amen. He's already put you in a position where you can begin, hallelujah, to do his will. He's already aligned things in your life so that you will be able to walk, hallelujah, in the things that he has ordained for you. And listen to me. The Bible tells us that if God be for us. Who can be against us? He is more than the world that is against us. He's more than any enemy that stands against you. He's more, amen, than any uh, opposition, whether it be financial, whether it be spiritual, whether it be natural, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be in the elements, there is no opposition that can resist the God of heaven and prevent whatever God has declared decreed, hallelujah, amen, and, and said that has to come to pass. So listen, God is fighting on your behalf already. You don't need to worry about anything, amen, that needs to come to pass. All you need to do is set your heart to do what he's saying for you to do. Forget about, 
know what I'm saying? I don't have enough money. And in order for me to do what God is calling me to do, I need to have money. Well, listen, I promise you, because I've seen it happen over and over and over again. If you begin to move yourself from where you are and begin to set your heart on what God has said for you to do, money shows up at the right time. Money will show up. God will release every need that you have that you are, you know, to be able to walk in what he, what you need to walk in. Amen. Every opportunity that you need, everything that you need supplied, he will release that thing as soon as you begin to walk in the direction of what he's called you to do. I'm telling you, there's something about obedience. Obedience brings blessing. Obedience brings open doors. Obedience brings favor. Obedi obedience brings finances. Hallelujah. Obedience brings the resource of people. Amen. And everything that the people may have becomes a resource to you. So you got to get up from where you are now, faith. Now, isn't that something the scripture don't say tomorrow, faith, or next week, faith? No, it says now, right now, right now. Not in five minutes, not in 20 minutes, not give me 10 minutes, God. No, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that. Excuse me, is on the plaintiff, rather. The burden of proof is on the plaintiff. So the person who is bringing the case is usually the plaintiff. And the burden of proof is on them. They have the responsibility to prove their case. Okay? Not the defendant. The defendant has to come in and defend themselves. And so when God is the same way. When God, amen, has said that this is what he wants to do in your life, the burden is on him to Prove that he's going to do it. The burden of proof, amen, or the burden of even performing it, bringing it to pass, is on God. All you got to do is align yourself, amen, to do what he said do. And the rest is on God. When you realize that, that takes the pressure off. When you realize that, that means that you don't have to be yet. When is God's word going to come to pass in my life? As soon as you get lined up with your now faith. As soon as you understand that today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. So what are you waiting for? Stop waiting on people. Stop waiting for the circumstances to be right. Stop waiting for another milestone to pass by before you walk in and do what God told you to do. Just do what he said. Because today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. And now, hallelujah, is the time for you to accomplish it. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you now for every person that is listening, every person that will listen and hear this. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will stir them up. Remind them of the things that you have spoken. Remind them, oh God, of what they made a vow about and said that they would do for your glory. Remind them, Father, hallelujah, oh God, about the zeal that they had for your kingdom and the things, oh God, that is in their heart, that you have placed in their heart to do and let them move from the place of do nothing let them move from the place of talking about it to being about it let them move from that place oh god of wondering oh god and thinking about whether or not they should move in what you have spoken to stepping out on faith hallelujah and not waiting any longer to walk in what's in their heart we bind the spirit of procrastination. We rebuke every evil influence, everything God that will stand in their way, every spirit of doubt, every spirit of unbelief, every insecurity in the name of Jesus. God, we release confidence in you. We thank you right now for opening eyes, oh God, that they might be able to see. Father, what you are saying is real and it is truth and God we can trust your word in the name of Jesus cause them to stand in obedience and as they stand in obedience set resources set finances set open doors let us walk in those open doors Father God without hesitance and without fear in the name of Jesus and God we give you glory we give you honor we thank you that even as we go into this day we will rekindle the fire of the things that you have spoken to us and that we will walk in the full of it without procrastination without excuses because we are no longer waiting what are we waiting for we're not waiting for nothing we just need the sun to come up so we can get outside and make this vision work in the name of jesus and god we thank you we bless you 
and we give you glory in Jesus name amen amen but we thank God hallelujah for the word on this morning we thank God amen for stirring our hearts and asking us the question what are you waiting for and hopefully after today you're not waiting for anything you're getting ready to step out and do what God said for you to do and do it for his glory and not for the glory of man. I pray that the Lord be with you today. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. No matter where you're going or what you're doing today. Don't forget. Now. Faith. Right now. Where you stand. Where you're, where you're going. Take that faith. Activate it. Put it to work. Hallelujah. And bring those visions to pass. Or get them going. And let God bring them to pass. In Jesus name. Meet us tomorrow morning by God's grace at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hallelujah. And even the rest of the week, Monday through Friday, for fire in the morning for God's glory. Stoking our fires, setting our hearts in place to do the will of God. Hallelujah. And accomplish what God has called us to do for his glory. Be blessed and have a good day today in Jesus' name.